Um, for practice today, I'd like to get started right away in seated meditation. Um, feel free to start on your back body if you prefer, beginning on the earth this morning. Otherwise, make your way to a comfortable seat. And right away, allow your eyes to close. And take a moment to scan through your body to create any adjustments to your posture so that you can find that really tall, elongated spine. It creates more space for breath. Maybe shrug your shoulders up, back, and down, creating space across your heart. And soften the muscles to your face. And the space between your eyebrows. Across your forehead. And then release and relax your jaw to unclench your teeth. Perhaps you take one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart so you can really feel your breath. Let's start with a cleansing breath all together. A really deep inhale in, let your belly and your lungs fill up. And then open mouth, exhale, release. Allow your lips to seal and breathe in through your nose. And keeping your lips sealed, exhale through your nose. And continue to breathe in and out of your nose. Maybe adding that slight constriction at the back of your throat to cultivate your ujjayi pranayama. As you continue to tune into your breath, allow each inhale to become a little bit more expansive in each direction. Filling your front body and your back body and your side bodies with breath. And then allow every exhale to get slower and steadier and more complete. And do you work your breath through your body? Just noticing how your body feels this morning. Taking note of any areas that maybe feel a little extra sticky or tense. And allowing each breath out to be an invitation to soften, release, and let go. As you continue to feel into your breath, also start to feel into the space of your heart. Just being curious about any energy or emotion or feeling that's present at your heart this morning. As you tune into your heart, into your breath, begin to lean back in your awareness, noticing thoughts moving through your mind. You're flexing the muscle of awareness. So you can pay attention to the thoughts themselves, putting distance between you and them so that you can be in that place of observation. So you can gain familiarity with the patterns of your mind. Use that information to understand okay, the way that your mind shapes each and every moment that you're experiencing.
And after this check-in, scanning from body, breath, heart, and mind, you start to move towards intention. And ask yourself what you need from your practice today. What you hope to receive from these 60 minutes, your time and connection to your body and your breath, your heart and your mind on your mat. And as you form that intention at your heart space, you start to bring both of your hands to your heart, either to stack or to prayer, which is Anjali Mudra. I'm taking a moment just to focus completely on that intention. It will become the anchor for your practice today. We'll seal our intentions in with one cleansing breath together. Go ahead and take a really deep inhale through your nose. When you're ready, open mouth, exhale, let it go. Start to release your hands and slowly start to open your eyes. And we'll find our way into a child's pose to start. So knees can go as wide as feels comfortable for your body. Let your big toes come towards each other to touch. Then start to reach your hips back towards your heels and send your arms long in front of you. Sinking towards the earth, take a big breath in. When you exhale, you melt to your mat a little bit more. From your next inhale, Lengthen your hands a little bit further away. Then your exhale, walk your hands over to the left for a side body stretch. And root down through your right hand, reach back to your right hip. Just take one big breath into your right side body. And follow your next inhale to walk your hands through center. On your exhale, take your hands over to the right to find second side. And inhale back to the center again. We're gonna take one more opening here. Lift your heart just a couple of inches away from the earth and we'll thread our right arm underneath our body for a, a thread the needle variation. So right palm's gonna face up to the sky. And then instead of twisting your heart open to the left, we want squaring your heart down to the ground. So rotate your sternum to your right bicep. Get heavy through your left shoulder, forehead to the earth. As you draw your shoulders out of your ears, take a big breath. If you're ready to switch, reach your right hand forward and then thread your left arm underneath your body. And same thing here, think about squaring down towards the earth. Let your shoulders soften away from your ears, forehead towards your yoga mat, take one big breath. Once you're ready to come back through center, begin to shift forward to your tabletop pose. We take a moment to find some organic movement here. Hips might go side to side. Let me check in with your neck, just finding some movement through your spine, your hips. Now, as you're ready, we'll move into a cow pose with your in breath. Start to lift your heart, lift your tailbone. Bring that openness across the front of your body, navel pulls to spine. On your exhale, begin to find your cat pose as you round through your spine, press your hands. Let your head and tailbone tuck towards the earth. 
Moving slowly through two more cycles. Your inhale will start to open up your front body. On your exhale, creating space to the back of your body, round your spine. One more cycle here, deep breath in, heart and tailbone lift up. And on your exhale out, pass the earth away. So to come to your neutral spine, we're gonna find our thread the needle from our tabletop as well, just to feel the difference between the two variations. So on your inhale, use your core to twist your right hand open to the sky. And on your exhale, dive your right arm underneath your body. Right palm's gonna flip open to the sky here too. This time focusing on the twist, draw your shoulders out of your ears. Move your hips a little side to side until your hips are square, stacked over your knees. With your root down to the back of your right arm, option to reach your left hand forward or to find a half bind, maybe left fingertips reaching towards your right hip crease. Collarbones wide, take a big breath in. And a slow breath out. And a strange one, wind, land your left hand by your face if it's not already there. On your inhale, press to your left palm, twist your right hand to the ceiling again, open through your chest. Then exhale, tabletop pose. Well, inhale to cow, lift your heart, lift your tailbone. And exhale to your cat pose, spread your shoulder blades wide. You come back to neutral, activating through the strength of your belly, twist your left hand to the ceiling, big breath in, and exit to thread your left arm underneath your body. Shoulders out of your ears, adjust your hips to stack over your knees, and then decide where you want your right hand in space. And offering a big breath into the back of your heart space to go slow, full inhale. And a slow and steady exhale. Releasing your right hand to frame your face. On your in breath, start to open up, twist your left hand to the sky one more time. Then exhale, tabletop pose. Hips stay stacked over your knees. This time, walk your hands forward for Anahatasana. Forehead or chest come down to the earth, creating space through your shoulders. And around your heart, take one steady inhale. Maybe soften a little bit closer to your mat as you exhale. And from here, press into your hands to walk it back through your tabletop pose. And eventually tuck your toes underneath. Find a big breath in. And hover your knees just a couple inches off your yoga mat as you breathe out. So finding your hovering tabletop, knees float off your yoga mat. Actively press to your hands, push to your fingertips, and pull your navel to your spine. Send your breath into the back of your body. And find that engagement to your belly and through your arms for one more inhale. And see if you can keep some engagement to your belly and arms as you exhale to downward facing dog. Feel how your core pulls you up and back. And the press of your hands helps facilitate the length of your spine. Relax your head. Stretch one heel towards the earth and then the other. And then from that pedal action, begin to walk forward into your forward fold, top of your yoga mat. And let your knees soften, relax your head towards the earth. And take a moment here, maybe swaying a little bit forwards and backwards as you energize your tailbone towards the sky. As you listen to your breath on your next inhale, begin to find your halfway lift. Think about lighting up to your core as you lengthen from crown to tailbone. And exhale, forward, full release. 
We'll rise up to stand Urdhva Hastasana on your inhale. With your exhale, your left hand is going to grab your right wrist. Kind of side body stretch, lean over to your left. Let your shoulders sink out of your ears. Take a big breath into your right side body. And a slow breath out. Then inhale to lift up to your center. On your exhale, switch your grip. Your right hand grabs your left wrist. Lean over to the right. Take a moment to adjust and then send a deep inhale along your left side body. And slowly exhale that breath away. The next breath in, rise up through center. Your exhale, forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. And we'll exhale to our high plank. Plant through your hands and step your feet back. And pausing here for a cycle of breath, find engagement through your quads, and that engagement through your core navel to spine. As you press actively through your hands, create space between your shoulders and ears. And try to maintain that space between your shoulders and ears as we start to shift forward on inhale and lower on exhale. Think about your elbows reaching actively back as you stretch the crown of your head actively forward and lower all the way to the earth. And tuck through your toes, anchor through the tops of your feet, so your thighs light up and pull your navel to your side. And then from all of that engagement on your inhale, find your low cobra, begin to lift through your heart. So the exhale, release back to the earth. And inhale to your low cobra, or option to lift up a little bit higher, moving towards your high cobra. We'll exhale to release. Final round here, inhale to your up dog or any variation of cobra, finding openness across your chest. Strong through your thighs and core. Exhale to your downward facing dog, hips go up and back. And take a deep breath in through your nose. And then open it up, exhale, let it go. We'll inhale our right leg to the sky, three legged dog. On your exhale, take your right knee towards your left tricep, find that twist underneath your torso. Inhale, three legged dog, return your right leg to the sky. Your exhale, step your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Lower your left knee all the way to the earth. Strong through your right foot. Take a big breath in as you reach up to the sky on Janayasana. And on your exhale, you're going to start to twist to the right. So let your right hand sweep down and back. Send your left fingertips forward. Adjust so that your collarbones are nice and broad. So think about pressing the back of your right hand towards the wall that's behind your heart. Option for your left hand to reach down to the outside of your right thigh. You can use that hand as a lever to help rotate you around. Crowd through your chest, take one more cycle of breath here. As you inhale, unwind through center, reach your hands to the ceiling. And with your exhale, hands return to the earth. Lift your back knee off your yoga mat. Lengthen through your legs to your cat lunge. Take a big breath in to reach your heart forward. And your exhale, bend into your right knee. Cross the get forward fold. Take your left ankle behind your right. Soften through your knees. Let your head hang heavy. So as always in our cross legged forward fold, your pinky toes do not need to be in alignment. And you can always take a regular forward fold if the cross-legged variation is too much. Take one more moment here. And unwind through your legs, bending your forward fold. Inhale to your halfway lift. So traditional forward fold into your halfway lift. And your exhale, release. We'll rise all the way to stand Urdhva Hastasana. Take an inhale. And your exhale, bring your hands to your heart. 
Get strong through your left foot. Engage through your core and begin to lift your right knee up into your one-legged mountain pose. Take a moment to let your left leg engage and light up. The lift the center of your body. Active through your inner left thigh. And just slow and strong step your right foot to the back of your yoga mat. Moving into a low lunge with your right toe step back, hands come to the earth. With your in breath, lift your left leg to the ceiling, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee towards your right, tricep back, twist underneath yourself. Three legged dog, take a big breath in. And then use your core strength to place your left foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Release your right knee down to the ground. Inhale to your Anjaneyasana, your low crescent lunge. Following your exhalation, begin to find your twist to the left this time. So left hand sweeps down and back because your right hand reaches forward. I like to sometimes do like a little shoulder shrug here and then widen through my arms, twisting them from there. Option for right hand to the outside of your left thigh. So you pull your navel to your spine, rotate around. Think about using the strength of your upper back to press the back of your left hand towards the wall that's now behind your heart. One more breath here, super strong through your core center. And inhale through the midline, reach your hands up high. And your exhale, release your hands to the earth. Lift your back knee and legs in both of your legs, cat lunge. As you hug your right hip forward and square your left hip back, pull your heart towards the front of the room, take a breath in. Headed to our cross-legged forward fold, exhale to bend into your left knee. Step your right ankle behind your left. Maybe soften your knees as you forward fold. you're ready to unwind your legs. Start to find your traditional forward fold, feet side by side, and inhale to your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. We'll exhale to release. Then strong through your legs, breathe in to rise all the way to stand. Exhale, rise your hands at your heart, and start to lean your energy over to your right foot. Letting up through your belly, navel pulls to spine to help float your left knee in line with your left hip. One legged mountain pulse. And finding buoyancy through your body, think about lifting to the crown of your head through your heart to lift the weight up and out of your standing leg. Through the four corners of your right foot on the earth, through your toes, take a breath in. And we slowly start to step back to our low lunge. You're going to start to step your left foot to the back of your yoga mat. So your hands come down to the ground. The three-legged dog, breathe in to reach your right leg to the ceiling. And exhale, right knee twist towards your left tricep. Head to our falling triangle this time. Thread your right leg through. Deep flex through your right ankle. Rotate your left toe to the earth and reach your left hand to the sky. Spinning open to the left side of the room, take a big breath in. With your exhale, release your left hand down to the ground. Draw your right knee into your nose as you spin onto your left toe, so squaring off. And three-legged dog with your inhale. Place your right foot forward as you exhale. Left palm or left fingertips come to the earth or a yoga block twist. Your right hand to the sky with a big breath in. Your exhale, return your right hand to the earth. Rotating your left heel down to your yoga mat. We're moving towards a triangle pose. You're going to start to find extension to your right leg and reach your left hand of the sky. Big breath in. On your exhale, reach your left hand overhead to the front of your yoga mat. Sweep down into your wide legged forward fold, all 10 toes turn forward. We'll inhale to lift up halfway. On your exhale, bend into your left knee for your side lunge just for a moment. 
Option to be in Skandasana if you want to sink a little bit lower. And then we're going to pivot to the back of our yoga mat, low lunge. Drop your right knee to the earth as you walk your left foot wide for your lizard lunge. Maybe scoot your right knee back in space. We're going to inhale, lift to the chest. On your exhale, just for your breath out, bend through your elbows, dive your heart towards the inside of your left leg. As you breathe in, press your hands, rise back up. With exhale, we'll take a twist. Left hand's going to reach back. Maybe bend your right heel to your seat. If it's available, your left hand can catch your right foot to deepen your thigh stretch. And stretch your sternum away from your pelvis. Take one cycle of breath. And as you start to release, you're going to tuck your right toes underneath. And then lift your back knees to your inner lifted lizard lunge. So you start to root through your hands, in particular your right hand, and then turn all 10 toes towards the left for a horizon lunge. You can keep both hands on the ground or start to twist your left hand to the sky. You need to wiggle your left foot back in space a little bit. You can. Once you're on the outside edges of both your feet, flex your feet, open your chest. Option to sink your hips towards your yoga mat and reach your left hand towards your right foot. As we inhale, we rise back up. Exhaling to unwind, three-legged dog, adjust as much as you need to. Pass into your hands, lift your left leg to the ceiling, take a big breath in. And we'll exhale, left knee to our right tricep. And then fall in triangle, extend your left leg through. So you flex to your left foot, open up to your right side body. Find that rootedness to your right foot. Pull your chest forward, take your inhale. And exhale, begin your journey back to three-legged dog. Release your right hand down. Breathing your left knee into your chest for a moment. And then left leg to the ceiling. Take a big step forward, left foot lands between your hands. And then we'll twist left hand to the sky. Take a nice steady breath in. And exhale as you release your left hand to the earth. Rotate your right heel down to your yoga mat. We'll move towards our triangle pose. You can always bring hand to shin or block here. Just for a moment, lengthening through your legs. Hug muscle to bone, especially through your extended left leg. And then reach your right hand overhead Create a side body stretch with your breath in. Circle sweeping down through center, wide legged forward, full hinge at your hips. Right away, we'll inhale to lift up halfway. On your out breath, bend into your right knee, finding side lunge or maybe skandasana. Stretch your pelvis back in space. Take an inhale. And with exhale, we rotate to the top of our yoga mat, pivoting to the right. Lower your left knee to the earth and walk your right foot wide to your lizard lunge. Then we start to scoot your left knee back in space a little bit. And on your breath in, pull your sternum forward. With exhale, option to bend through your elbows for a moment, diving your heart on the inside of your right leg. Strong press to your right foot. Breathe in to rise back up. With your exhalation, sweep your right hand back for your twist. Option to add in your thigh stretch and pull your left toe towards your seat. For the continuation of that front body stretch, as you move your sternum forward, opening along your chest. Breath in and breath out. Return your right hand to the inside of your right foot. Tuck your back toes and lift your back knees in your lifted lizard bunch. Begin to turn your toes to the right, sliding your right back as much as you need to. Flex to your feet. Again, you can keep both hands on the ground or twist your right hand open to the sky. Take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, if your right hand is twisted to the sky, Maybe find a little hip dip, sink your hips low, keep flexing through your feet as you reach towards your left foot. And inhale, rise up and rotate around. Finding your three-legged dog, a breath is going to reach your right leg to the ceiling. 
and bend your knee and open your hip this time. The three-legged dog, inhale. Right knee towards left tricep on exhale. Now listen, we're going to a half ball and triangle this time. So thread your right leg through as if you're going to your ball and triangle, but keep both of your hands planted to the earth. But see your right foot, reach your heart forward. Think about squaring off your body. So shoulders are over wrists, hearts reaching forward. Your left toes are pointing to the top of your yoga mat. And you're spinning your left hip point down to the earth. Hug your right hip point up to the sky and back in space. Then press to your hands. Pull your right knee to your nose. Navel to spine. Three-legged dog. Inhale to reach your right leg back. And your exhale, step your right foot forward to the top of your yoga mat. Twist your right hand to the ceiling like we've done before. Option to lengthen through your legs for a revolved pyramid pose. Take one breath in for extension through your spine. And use your exhale to twist a little bit deeper. From here, bend into your right knee if you found extension and release your right hand to the earth. Lean into your right foot, gentle standing split, the left leg to the ceiling, big breath in. On exhale, one Shiva squat, bending through both of your knees, let your booty sink low, peek your heart forward. Then back into your standing splits, press down through your right foot to lengthen your left toes to the sky. Softening through both of your knees, forward fold. Dive over your thighs. Then inhale to lift up halfway. And your exhale, forward full release. Rising all the way to stand, Urdhva Hastasana, big breath in. Exhale, hands to heart. Shift your energy to your left foot. Begin to lift your right knee up into your one legged mountain pose. Finding your steadiness here, option to stay here. Option to use your core to rotate your heart towards the right. Strong through your left glute. Chest rotates to the right. You can spread your wings open if you'd like. Similar to what we did when we were in that low lunge on Janayasana earlier, you can take your left hand to the outside of your right thigh and twist a little bit deeper. If you want to play with the extension of your right leg, begin to lengthen your right leg forward, kicking your right heel to the front of the room. And from here, we're going to slowly start to unravel, bend through your right knee, bring your hands back to heart center as you turn to face forward. Airplane pose, slowly extend backwards, reaching length through your arms and your right leg as you breathe in. Be lengthened through the nape of your neck as well, looking down at the ground. Steadying your breath here for one more cycle. Think about reaching from right heel to the crown of your head to you draw your navel up and in. We'll step back into our high crescent lunge, right toes released to the earth. Reach your hands to the ceiling as you inhale. With your exhale, your left hand is going to grab your right wrist, take a side body stretch over to the left side of the room. Nice and powerful through so your right quad, take one breath in and one breath out. Bring it back through center on your inhale. Exhale to a side angle pose as you rotate your right hand to the earth. Left forearm comes to your thigh, reach your right hand to the sky. Nice big breath in. On your exhale, right hand comes to the ground. Unhook your right heel. You plant through your right palm or a twist left hand to the ceiling. Horizon lunge. Sinking down this time. Like maybe your right hip even rests to the earth for a moment. Keep flexing through your ankles. Proud chest, take a breath. Okay, as you're ready, lifting up, start to unwind. Left hands be on the inside of your left foot. Walk it wide into your lizard lunge. As your left foot goes wide, sink your right knee just to a hover this time. Or you can also rest your right knee to the ground if you want, but think about your right knee reaching back to your right toes, heart forward for a breath. 
whether your right knee is on the ground or floating, start to engage and lift up through your back thigh. Press into your hands. Option for a half crow moment here. Maybe your left knee squeezes into your left tricep and you float your left foot off the earth. Take our three-legged dog. Inhale, reach into your left leg up and back. On your exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. As three-legged dog, re-extend. Left knee towards your right tricep, find that twist. Half forward triangle, thread your left leg through. Keeping both hands on the ground, square your body to the earth. If this is like the worst thing that's ever happened to you, you can also go back to your fallen triangle or even a modified side plank or a high plank. So lots of different options here. Otherwise, you're finding extension through your heart. Squeeze your inner thighs gently, pull your navel to your spine. If you press into your hands, draw your left knee to your chest. From the strength of your core, three-legged dog, reach your left leg high. We'll step left foot forward to the top of our yoga mat. And start to twist your left into the sky. I'm going to take off my sweatshirt. <laughs> As you find your twist, you have the option to go towards your revolved pyramid stretch, which is an extension of your legs. But one breath in and one breath out. Then start to bend into your left knee. Do you release your left hand to the earth. Gentle standing splits, reach your right toes to the sky. Hips can be open or closed today. Relax your head as you inhale. One Shiva squat with exhale, bend through your knees. Power up through your strong left leg and glute. Keep your heart forward at the bottom. Resisting gravity. We're going to press to the left foot and slowly re-extend to our standing splits. And please bend both of your knees. Recruit your core as you step into your forward fold. So make sure your belly is active as you place your right foot to the ground. Inhale lengthens us halfway. Ardha Uttanasana. Your exhale forward fold release. Rising to stand with your breath, Urdhva Hastasana, full inhale. And on exhalation, let your hands arrive at your heart. Start to lean your energy into your right foot. And as you're ready, lift your left knee up in line with your hip. Strong to your right leg, take a breath in. On your exhale, use the strength of your center to twist your heart towards the left, maybe. You might spread your wings open, or maybe your right hand comes to the outside of your left thigh. Just leverage in your twist. You have the option to lengthen your left foot forward any amount. Doesn't matter how high it is, take a big breath in. On exhale, bend your left knee, bring your hands to heart center, returning to the midline. Airplane pose. Go as slow as you want to, take as much time as you need to expand out. The thing about finding that really balanced engagement. So front body is strong, back body is strong. All your limbs are moving towards extension, even through the nape of your neck, your cervical spine. Give it one more breath in. And as slowly as you can, bend to your right knee to step back into your high crescent. Left toes release to the earth or reach to the sky. From here, right hand grabs your left wrist, side bend over to the right. Take shoulders out of ear, stretch through your left side body. Take a breath in. And take a breath out. Inhale through your center. On your exhale, side angle pose so as you rotate your left heel to the earth, the right forearm arrives to your thigh. Twist to open. The collarbones wide, shoulders that have ears, take one big breath in. With exhale, land your left hand to the inside of your foot. Walk it wide to your lizard lunge. Let your left knee come towards a hover or towards the ground. And think about sending your thigh bones in opposite directions. So imagine your right thigh bones reaching forward 
I think about sliding your left thigh bone back in space. And from here, we're gonna lift our left thigh bone up, rotating to your horizon lunge. Maybe this time sinking your left hip down to the earth. If you sink your hips down to the earth and you feel like you need more stretch, flex your feet, keep your right foot anchored, and then scoot your booty towards the back of your yoga mat any amount. Take one more breath. When you're ready to unwind, hands are on the inside of your right foot. Option for that half curl moment. Maybe your right knee hugs your right tricep and you float your right foot off the earth. So we lay good dog. Inhale reaches your right leg to the sky. Bend your knee and open your hip. Relax your head to be going to slight tuck of your chin to lengthen through your neck on inhale. We're going to go half pigeon as we exhale. So right shin bones coming towards the top of your yoga mat. Feel free to take a figure four here or any other hip opening shape. You settle into your half pigeon. We'll be here for about five cycles of breath, five to seven cycles of breath. So your right thigh bone plugging into your pelvis and then your left hip bones reaching forward and wrapping inwards. So that kind of pointy part of your left hip, the front of your left hip. Think about that part wrapping towards the inside of your body. You can say hi, you can drop down to your forearms or a block. Relax your shoulders out of your ears and take five cycles of breath. Take a deep breath in together. Maybe open mouth, exhale to release. As you're ready to press up to your hands, we're gonna lean over to our right hip. We're gonna sweep our left leg all the way around into Gomu Kasana legs. So your knees are moving towards stacked. You want to make sure both hip bones are grounded to the earth. If Gomukhasana with your stacked thighs and knees doesn't work, you can also go with your double pigeon, shin stacked, or cross-legged seat, left shin in front of your right. Okay. So any of those leg variations, working through creating space in the outer hips. On your inhale, maybe your hands hold on to your knees or your shins or your ankles. Think cow spine, lift through your heart, spread your collarbones open. Flexing through your feet on your exhale, cat your spine. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone, pull your navel back. Okay, we'll take that twice more if you want. On your inhale, think cow spine. Tailbones reaching back into the ceiling. On your exhale, tuck through your tailbone, pull your navel in, round through your upper back. Let your head be heavy. Last round here, inhale, cow spine. Really pull your ribcage and chest forward. Then exhale to your cat spine. And as you come back to neutral, okay, you're at the top of your yoga mat. Unwind your legs to a cross leg a seat if you're not already there. Then you can roll over your shins or if you'd rather, you can just take your legs to the side. And we'll go back to our downward facing dog. Your down dog took a moment. 
then paddle out your feet. When you're ready, inhale your left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. And half pigeon pose, left shin is going towards the top of your yoga mat. Anchor through your left shin, maybe walk your right toes back in space a little bit. Then take a moment to settle in and adjust for socket side. Left thigh bones plugging in. Right hip is wrapping forward. And then there's that internal rotation, like you're squeezing a yoga block between your inner thighs, spiraling your inner right thigh towards the ceiling. An option to stay lifted or take a big breath in, lengthen your spine with your exhalation lower down. I'm trying to melt into your yoga mat as you find your five to seven cycles of breath. Noticing if your teeth are tight, trying your best to keep your jaw relaxed. We'll take one more cleansing breath here. Deep inhale through your nose. Maybe open mouth, exhale, let it go. So you're ready to rise up. Stretch your rise up, tip over to your left hip. Then sweep your right knee into Gomukhasana, your double pigeon, or your cross legged seat. As you adjust so that both sits bones are grounded, your hands are going to take hold of your legs. This could be at your knees, shins, ankles. Take a big breath in, think cow spine, really send your tailbone back and up, pull your chest forward. On your exhale, cat spine, relaxing the weight of your head around your spine. Kind of lean back a little bit, even, especially if you're in your cross-legged seat. And then just cycling through with two more rounds of breath. Moving at your own pace. As you completed your third round, go ahead and lean back. Just unwind your legs. Keep your feet about as wide as your yoga mat. Use your hands for support. Find a little windshield wiper from side to side. Okay, right, from here, we're going to find a reverse tabletop. You don't have to lift your hips unless you want to. Knees bent, plant through your feet, plant through your palms. Start by just popping your heart to the sky, spread your collarbones super wide. Option to stay here, option to root to your feet, and find that lift through your hips. Take three slow cycles of breath. And when you're ready, release your hips down to the earth. Scooch forward if you need to. I'm going to anchor your heels. 
Inhale to reach up to the sky. Navel draws to your spine. On your exhale, keep your heels grounded as you slowly roll backwards. As you find your way to your back body, reach your hands up overhead to get a full body stretch. Spread your fingers, spread your toes as you inhale. Open mouth, exhale, circle through your ankles and your wrists. And from here, draw your right knee to your right shoulder, interlace your hands on the front of your right shin. Flex to your left heel, pull your navel to your spine, lengthen your tailbone forward, take a breath. As you exhale, keep your left hip grounded and even place your left hand on the front of your left hip and open your right knee wide to the right. Nice big breath in. Your exhale, maybe draw one circle with your right knee in one direction. And with your next inhale, draw a circle with your right knee in the opposite direction. Moving eventually to a supine twist. Right knee tips across your body, release your right shoulder to the earth. Soften into your shape as you take one cycle of breath. Asta? Yeah. You have vegetables and stuff? Yeah. You have an egg? Yeah. You're all good? Yeah. Once you find your twist, oh. you have to roll into a version of um our fetal pose. So half fetal pose. From your supine twist, let your left arm reach to the back of the room. You're going to roll onto your left side until your right knee relaxes to the ground. So your hips are tipping as much as they need to for your right knee to release to the earth. From here, bend your left heel to your seat. You might have to lift your heart up to create the connection. Right hand's gonna catch your left foot for a thigh stretch. Draw your navel to your spine. You and explore different angles of your thigh bone and angles of your heart. You're just going for a big stretch to the front of your left foot. Take your breath in. On exhale, we'll start to release left leg long. So you roll into your back body. Draw both your knees into your chest. Happy baby pose. So hands to the fronts of your shins. Or your ankles. Or your feet. Let's take one inhale in. And your exhale out, you're going to release your right leg long across the earth. As you draw your left knee to your left shoulder, interlace your hands on the front of your left shin. Hug your inner right thigh towards the midline of your body. Flex your right heel forward. Pull your navel down. Lengthen your tailbone to your right heel. And then anchor your right hip to the earth with your right hand and take your left knee out wide. Doesn't have to go very far. You want to do a hip circle in each direction with your left hip. Inhale to go one way. Your exhale, reverse that circle. This will twist us into a supine twist. Left knee tips over to the right. Spin your heart open to the sky. Take a breath. And this sets us up for our half beetle pose thigh stretch. So right hand's going to reach overhead to the back of your yoga mat. Begin to roll into your right side until your left knee lands to the earth. Then bend your right heel to your seat and find that connection opposite hand to opposite foot.
as you release back to center from here, draw both knees into your chest. Curl your nose up to your knees. Take a deep breath in. When you're exhale, start to find your way to Shavasana. If you wanted to rest with your hips open, you could also rest in a butterfly shape. And then as you find your way to your final relaxation, take a moment to adjust your body back to the support of the earth. Close down your eyes. Once you've settled, take a big breath in through your nose. One open mouth, exhale, let it go. You're finding it difficult for your mind to stay centered, connected to this moment right here, right now. Maybe you return your attention to your breath. Return your focus back to the intention that you set at the beginning of your practice. And use both your breath and your intention to anchor your awareness. Staying exactly as you are, starting to bring some energy back into your body. Breathe energy into your fingers, your toes, maybe your ankles and your wrists. Finding any small, gentle movements to reawaken. On your breath in, maybe send your hands overhead to your full body stretch. With exhale, your hands find their way to your heart. Pausing in gratitude, we acknowledge the yoga practice itself, the pathway, the insights, and the clarity that it provides. We pause in gratitude for our bodies and our breath, physical vessel, and life force energy that offer us our human experience. And we pause in gratitude for this time that we shared. So to seal it all in, take a deep breath through your nose. 
And open mouth, exhale, let it go. May yoga offer us a path to compassion. May our practices serve as our teachers, guiding us to live with authenticity and to love deeply each and every day. Thank you so, so much for being here today and this morning. And namaste.